there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. I have, I actually did a card that was really similar to this uh, just a couple of videos ago and I was kind of inspired by that but I wanted to make it different. I love getting really good value out of my stamps that I buy so I want to use them time and time again and it's nice to be able to use the same products but make them look different. So I am going to be working on a craft base today, a craft cardstock card base and I'm using the Floral Wonder stamp again. I'm really loving this stamp. I love all the extra little foliage and bits and pieces as well. And I'm going to do a really similar technique where I just kind of hang it off the edge and this time I am working directly onto my card base. Now because I'm going to be embossing I'm using my anti-static powder bag which is super important. That's one of those tools that you should uh, invest in or make your own or um, definitely worthwhile having on hand. Then I'm stamping with some Versamark sticky embossing ink. Again, having a good embossing ink is one of those tools that's important. I have tried many, many brands of embossing ink, sticky embossing ink, and honestly, I have come back to this one and definitely settled that this is the best by a long way. Then I added some gold embossing powder and that is going to go on top of my craft cardstock. It's not going to be super bold and out there, but when it shines, it is beautiful. Now a couple of things I'm going to do to make sure that I don't get any warping is one, I like to heat from the underside a little bit first as well. And the second thing is to make sure that your heat gun is really hot. Just have it off to the side for a minute, make sure that it gets really hot um, to its full potential and then bring it onto your embossing. And that way you shouldn't get too much warping at all as long as you've used a kind of good quality or, or heavy cardstock, especially for the card base. Then I have just got some watercolour paper and this is the Tim Holtz watercolour paper. Again, this is the one that I tend to lean towards because of the colour. I really love that it's nice and white and I have found that this works best with the most products that I have in my stash. So I want to make it sure that the products I have are very versatile and that means that I should be able to use the most products that I have with this paper and that works really well for me. I don't know if I quite said that exactly how I meant it, but you get what I mean. Then I'm going to add the exact same embossing powder, the gold one that I added to the craft cardstock as well. And again, I am going to heat emboss this and make sure it's all completely melted. I wasn't worried about getting the complete image here because uh, as with the previous card that I made, made like this, there are only the three flowers that are actually showing um, out of the four on my original stamping on the card base. So I'm going to make sure that this is well and truly melted and then comes the fun part. Now I am going to make sure that these flowers are really nice and bold. I want them to be bright, I want them to be bold, I want them to stand off the cardstock. So I'm using some Midnight Snack and Remember Me dye inks. These ones happen to be from Simon Hurley and I just put a little bit of the re out on the acrylic block and then I just go to town with adding as much colour as I possibly can. I am using a water brush to pop these on but honestly any paintbrush is fine and any media at all that you want would work here. I just felt like kind of getting messy and colourful with these inks but if you have the oxide inks and you just want to use your finger daubers or if you really like alcohol markers or if you really like colouring pencils or if you really like um, anything, anything at all is going to work here just fine. There is no right or wrong, it's just playing. All I knew was that I wanted these to be well and truly saturated with colour and I wanted them to be really nice and bright. When they dry, they will dry back just a little bit and then you will also be able to see a really nice part of that gold embossing powder shining through as well. It kind of dulls it down a little bit when I do this, but when I just add a nice, uh, when everything's kind of nice and dry, I will give them a little wipe with a dry cloth and that will kind of buff off any of the colour that is sitting on top of the embossing powder. But as I said, anything is good here. I just knew I wanted them to be blue and I wanted the colour to be bold. So I'm going to town. There is no skill involved. I'm really just putting the colour down thick and as much as I possibly can. So enjoy whatever you have. Use the products that you have sitting there staring at you and make the most of them. So that's what I'm really enjoying doing at the moment. Just making sure that I use my stamp sets that I purchase. Lots and lots. I really want to get the best use out of my products. So I will leave 
leave links to anything uh, that I've used that is still available down in the description box below. Some things are not available anymore and I always apologize for that. I also have a fantastic Facebook group uh, and I will leave a link to that down below. If you are keen to show me your versions of any of these or you've been inspired by them, I would love to see them and that's a great place that I am able to see everything. We do have an amazing, amazing supportive group of people over there. So I am so lucky. We are so lucky that we have created this community uh, around this YouTube channel and over there on our Facebook page. I honestly, when I started this channel, I just had no idea that people would want to watch these videos. I, I, I still get so overwhelmed and shocked that people watch my videos and support me with all of the kind beautiful amazing comments that you all leave for me so I am so so grateful I appreciate it so much and I love reading through the comments it means so much to me and my family are really proud that this is where this channel has ended up going so that's a really amazing feeling for me so I appreciate it and I just want to say a massive thank you a huge thank you now anyway back to the card and I have cut out all of these gorgeous flowers I can see that they're going to stand out really nicely against that blue background I have the friendly greetings from Bow Bunny again use any sentiments at all this card could also go with a whole heap of sentiments it could be a birthday card a thinking of you card a get well soon card a sending hugs card it could be anything at all and honestly, I really do love creating cards that are really versatile and kind of don't lean one way or the other. Sometimes it's nice to create those, but I also love creating ones that you guys are able to take some inspiration and ideas and just change it up for what you need. Now, I almost forgot to do my anti-static powder bag there, but it's really important, especially since I'm going to use an acrylic block to stamp out with my Versamark sticky embossing ink. So I'm just going to carefully line that up, hold it above where I want to stamp, and then when I know I have it in place, I will push down nice and evenly, and then I will use the exact same gold embossing powder. I probably could have done the sentiment at the same time that I embossed the flowers at the very beginning, but honestly, I was just kind of working through the process in my head, and I really love how gorgeous and shiny this embossing powder is. Now, there are some really easy, simple things that you can do in card making to kind of step up your cards a little bit. And they don't have to be fancy or expensive, and that is really important to me. So although this card is quite similar to the one that I created the other day, I'm going to carry on and add a couple more details to make this one really special. So I have popped some foam squares up, and again, I'm just popping up two of these um, flowers here, and the third one just went down nice and flat, and that was stuck down with some liquid adhesive. That's the Ranger Multimedium in the matte finish. And I like how this looks, but it does look a little bit plain to me. So I'm going to do something really easy. And it's definitely going to change the look of the card a little bit. And again, you can take it or leave it. I don't mind if you prefer it with or without. Let me know in the comment section down below. But all I'm going to do, I'm just doing a couple of little white highlights first up. But then I am just getting a ruler so that I can make some straight lines. And I am going to just kind of make a little border around the outside. Now I kind of go up and down a few times because I must admit I haven't had the best luck finding amazing white gel pens. I feel like I've tried most of the popular ones out there and never been super happy with their results. This is a really cheap and cheerful one. I'll leave links to it down below but it's a really cheap pen and honestly I found it works just as good as the other ones. So sometimes I go up and down a couple of times just to get a nice smooth line. And because this one is popped up on, the flower is popped up there on foam squares, I'm able to kind of just pop my ruler underneath it. And then this is where I'm going to add some details. So I am going to do a couple of white little dots here, there, and everywhere. And that brings the white into the design a little bit more. But all I'm going to do is just make some little marks here around the outside and then color them in. Now I am going to spare you the pain of kind of going around the outside. Don't get me wrong, this did take a little minute, but honestly I really enjoy adding these little details. It is something that I can do really easily and I just eyeball it. I don't feel like I need to measure anything here. But as I head around the outside of the card, I'm just going to make them nice and even, as even as I can eyeball them. And then once I've finished, this is a really nice little detail that has kind of changed the look of my card and it feels much more finished to me here. 
I just kind of went around the design a little bit um, here, there and everywhere. But I really like how this card ended up and it made it look a little bit different from the one that I created the other day. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this one to show you that just little details such as adding the white pen around the outside in our own little border can really make a card look a little bit different even though we're using very similar supplies. Thank you so much for joining me and I really look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, bye! Thank you.